Hello, in this video, let's calculate demand elasticity using Excel. So this will make it a little easier on us. Uh, so we've got some prices, we've got quantity demanded, and then what we need to figure out is total revenue, uh, marginal revenue, percent change in quantity, and the percent change in price, because if I uh, need the elasticity, the elasticity of demand formula is the percent change in quantity demanded divided by the percent change in price. Okay. Uh, the marginal revenue is the change in total revenue divided by the change in quantity demanded. And then total revenue is price. I'm going to use the Excel thing there. Price times quantity. Okay. Uh, I guess I can put the percent change formula. This is new minus the old value. And depending on whether or not you're using the midpoint method, I'm going to use the midpoint method. I'm going to divide by the, the midpoint. And then we multiply. That gives us a, a sort of a number. And we multiply that whole thing by uh, 100 to get a uh, uh, percentage. Okay. So uh, that's what we're doing here. If you're not doing the midpoint method, you can just do new minus old over old, and that'll give you uh, what you need there. Okay, so here we use Excel. When we want Excel to write a formula, we hit equal sign and put our cursor on the price that we want. We'll hit uh, the star key or asterisk key, multiply it by the cell that's in the quantity, and that'll calculate it for us. Okay, and I don't, I, I don't want to do that again and again and again, so I just want to copy this formula all the way down. So I could, I could do one of three things. I could uh, highlight the whole thing and then hold down Control D. Okay, I could do that. I could take this corner, this little corner here, and drag that guy down. And then I could grab this little corner with the plus and just double click on it. Okay, it works too. Okay, the marginal revenue, so it's the change in total revenue, so it's this minus this, okay, divided by the change in quantity, okay, so this minus this, so I'm going to lose four units by raising the price, I'm going to make more total revenue. Now, need to put these in parentheses so that Excel knows to do them first before making that division, okay. And it gives us a marginal revenue of 80. Copy that all the way down. It's calculating all the marginal revenue. Okay, that's important because I want to know what happens to my total revenue when I increase the price. Okay, all right. So then the change in, in quantity, I hit equals. Okay, so I want uh, the new value minus the old value. I'll put that in parentheses. And then we're going to divide it by uh, the midpoint. And so the midpoint is, is the average. You can take this plus this and divide it by 2. That's the same thing as saying average. So I'm going to tell Excel just to average those two. It's 22. I know what it is, but I'm writing the formula so that I don't have to do that um, whole thing myself. OK, now uh, I must have already had this set. In case you don't have it set, to be uh, reporting as a percent. You can go into format cells here, turn it into a number, go up here, so that's like this big mess here, and I'm just gonna turn that into percent, just hit the percent key. I can also right click on it and go to format cells and change it there, okay? So I've got, and we'll go to two decimal places. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing all the way down there. It's calculating the change in quantity, okay? And then, I'm going to go here, and I want the percent change in price. So it's uh, new minus old. This divided by, well, it's 30, but I'm, I don't want to do that math every time because I'm using Excel. So the average of those two. Okay, and that's 67% change there in price, and I'll just copy this all the way down. Um, it's just kicking out an error that I'm going to ignore so that my 
the spreadsheet looks a little nicer. Okay, so these are negative because as I raise the price, I get less quantity. And then these are positive because I'm, I'm increasing the price. Okay, so the elasticity formula is just the percent change in price, which is that column divided by the percent change. I'm sorry, the percent change in quantity divided by the percent change in price. And I get 0.27. I'll just copy that all the way down. Okay, now all of these are negative. Um, often we report these as absolute numbers, uh, which I'm going to do. So maybe S is the command for that. Okay, if you don't need to do that in absolutes, then don't. But um, there we go. Okay, so the interpretation here is when the uh, elasticity is less than one, uh, it's inelastic. Okay, so you can actually write a, a, a code here for you know is it is it uh, elastic or inelastic. Once it's more than one, then it's elastic, and like this one right here is very you know it's very elastic. Uh, and then when it's right at one, then that's something called unitary elastic. So I'm just going to write them in to, to save time. But you can write a formula to read this and then interpret that. That would have been a good idea on this video, but uh, I didn't do that. But anyway, so this is inelastic, inelastic. Whoops. I knew what I was doing there. And this is unit elastic because that's one. This is elastic. And this is. Uh, even more elastic. Okay, so now I've filled in the whole thing and I've done the problem. Uh, now what you can do though, what's what's kind of cool about this is I can change what's going on here, right? So let's change the uh, the prices here from oh I don't know let's uh, let's say let's say this is ten and this is fifty and this is one hundred and this is uh, let's say one sixty. And this is 240, and this is 320. Okay, and now I'm changing uh, the elasticities around. That that changes what the the answers are, the interpretations over there. But um, it, it'll update the whole the whole thing, right? So what if I did uh, uh, 240, 200? Well, that's not going to change because the ratio isn't isn't changing. Let's do 180, uh, 165, and 20, 140. See there, I've changed all the elasticities. You can update that. You got a cool little calculator. There you go.